All right, we got the Tabco fenders on. I uh, had to redo the back section um, there just because uh, the other one had, I guess, indents for the bumper and um, it still was wrapping around way too tight. Uh, so yeah, we kind of did that, got that on there. Uh, these Tabco ones are a little bit uh, off. Um, just the, the edging where they come out of the press mold or uh, however you want to state it. They're not that great. Like these are on a uh, quite the aggressive angle. So you kind of have to tap them in. Now I tap these ones in and they go in fine. Uh, I hit these all flat here and they seem to be all right. I mean, it's it's not perfect, but it's leagues better than what was on this car because uh, that's what was here. That's really the only bit of metal that was that was on here. The rest was rusted out. So, I mean, I'm happy with this. And uh, we went through all this work to put on these new fender arches and then we're going to cut most of it out because we have these ZG fender flares that we're putting on, but I needed the metal here and uh, I needed the bottom section there and the bottom section there because the ones that were on here uh, that came off the other parts car, this section, this wraparound section, were completely hooped. Um, they had them on an angle like that. It was, I, I don't know why they did it, but uh, it doesn't matter because I, I'm the one having to deal with it. So yeah, we kind of got them on. Uh, these would probably would have fit a hundred times better if this car wasn't so fucked. It doesn't look that bad right now because we've kind of gone in and dollied out with just a basically a flathead screwdriver, not much uh, to push out. But we had some huge chunks of Bondo on this car. If you see me on Instagram, I, I made a post of how thick it was. It was literally like a three eighths or over. And then we got this one on here. Uh, this one was a little bit more off. Um, really required a lot more tapping around here to get it in. Uh, and you can see that on the video, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's in there. This one had longer extension pieces on that and it didn't wrap around very nice. So we kind of had to put it in and then get a screwdriver and pound the screwdriver in to, to suck it up tight. Um, but the car is at a point where, or at a, a height where everything's hyper-focused on Whereas when it's in the ground, it's going to look like that. You won't see anything for the most part. Uh, this side, I thought the Bondo was much worse, but it actually wasn't that bad. Um, these fenders don't really have the, the crease line like these ones do, like the body line does. So, I mean, we're probably just going to have to get rid of that crease line and uh, not care. And I still have to, uh, to redo this, cut it out here, and then... Uh, or probably cut it out there and I'll just pocket that little section with another plate or some Bondo and then uh, fill in the gap. But yeah, you can still see on this one how much it was still kicking back and it wasn't done very well. Um, not that this is primo, but we'll grind it down and it'll look a lot better. Uh, welding with the Bondo and if you've ever welded these on, uh, they kind of have like a inner lining of tar type uh, seam sealer and it starts to melt and heat up into the weld. So if you do any more than a couple uh, millimeters of weld, it will uh, start start burning away and contaminating your weld. But uh, yeah, it's in there. I mean, the door closes. The fit up's not great, but the fit up was never great from the beginning. And uh, as fin or Freiburger says, just get it done. Don't get it right. You can do it again later. And that, that does ring true on this car. Of just, just get it done and get it on the road. My wheels are coming on Thursday. So we'll be able to fit the fender flares perfectly on the car. And uh, go from there. But uh, still a whole lot of other Bondo and body work I need to do. Or or not need to do and stop caring. Like I may just literally push that in and smear that over with Bondo. And then uh, wait till I can get better flares or better fenders. I don't have any front fender flares. I used my front ZGs on that uh, Capri project I had. So still a bunch of stuff like this where I need to hit that lip in. So at least that's straight. And then just Bondo there and there. I mean, I'm not going to start caring about stuff like that. Just because this shell is not a car you should be caring that much about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we got both the frame rails fixed underneath. Uh... Floor pans are fixed under here. 
We're getting pretty close to re-undercoating the whole bottom side of the car. I don't like undercoating, but I don't have a choice because the whole car was undercoated before I got it. And I don't want to change things up. Um, so yeah, once the wheels show up, the fender flares will go on. Uh, I can start fixing that rust in there. And possibly think about putting the gas tank back in. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, start putting the interior back together. Start hooking up the engine bay stuff that I disconnected. And yeah, it'll be good. So yeah, any questions, comments, advice, I mean, put it down below. This is not my special specialty. We're just kind of tacking and welding and hammering and making the best of a shit situation. So yeah, smell you guys later.